Wake up to the morning light. Wipe away the lonely night. Let a brand new day wash. Today we're going to talk about Willow and her progress and her training and her gentling process. Willow, again, is the mare that we rescued from a situation where she was deemed untrainable from her past life. And we are helping this beautiful mare overcome some of her fears, and particularly her fears of humans and of when pressure is put on her, she doesn't know how to react. So as I work with her on the ground, I'm going to take the groundwork work into another level, and that is long lining or, or driving the horse on the ground. So we'll use driving reins, and I'll do the groundwork just like I do go forward, disengage, stop on each side of the horse first, on the left side and then the right side, and I'll just have the long line on the opposite side of me, on the outside of the horse, to where I can handle that with my with one of my hands, and then still control her as she moves around me, like as if I was doing groundwork or lunging. I'll do that both directions to make sure she's comfortable with that long line around her tail and under her butt. This is something that um, is not the first step in the desensitizing situation with this. We did this in the realm pen when we were working with her with a saddle. So this is just a continued program. Once she was accepting that really well, we went into actually asking her to drive and just gradually working to that outside rein and asking her to change directions and then make a straight line. She had a little issues with this. She's still struggling a little bit. When you put a little pressure on her mouth, she wants to panic and she rares. Um, a rare is simply not moving forward. So as I ask the horse to go forward and maybe to the left or a change of direction or even a woe, if the horse panics and wants to go up, it's my job to just be very still, not overreact, keep slight pressure on the rein, wait for her to come down, and then proceed to ask her to move forward again. Once the horse figures out that if she moves forward, there's a release of the pressure, then she won't feel trapped anymore, and the trapped is what causes the rare. So the rearing is eventually going to go away, but we have to work through this with Willow so that she will be safe when it is time to get in the saddle. Safety is the most important thing, and to rehabilitate Willow, we have to get her mind thinking about giving to the pressure instead of reacting. And once she understands that and starts to not be afraid and trust more, then her progress will continue very, very well as she did in that first lesson. And here at the end, you can see that she's doing just great, really starting to understand.